In 2017, over 23 women were murdered in Entebbe and Nansana in Wakiso district. The women were murdered over the course of five months, from May to September. Police subsequently arrested a number of suspects, and some of them were paraded in court. And I want to warn whoever is really doing this. Your days are numbered. Your days are numbered. You cannot continue to do this. Who are they? What right do they have to disturb the peace of the people? Only three suspects, though, were tried before the Kampala High Court for the murder of two women, Rose Nachimuli, a former hairdresser, and another woman who is unidentified. On Thursday, the suspects were acquitted by a High Court judge who accused the prosecution of failing to prove that the accused participated in the murders. Women activists have accused the police of failing to carry out sufficient investigations into the murders. We've been calling out for speedy, quality investigation of cases of rape, of defilement, of murder of women, and these cases have never been brought to logical conclusion. When these murders were happening, it is the same police that did not want us to put our voices out there. We wanted demonstrations. We wanted to sit with the families. We were all blocked in the name of the Public Management Act. Nobody wanted us to raise a voice, and here today it's the same police that has failed to adduce evidence for the families, the orphans, the collapse of the case puts into question the police human and resource capabilities when it comes to forensic investigations. For instance, in this particular case, a blood-stained pair of jeans was one of the key exhibits found in the home of one of the suspects. By the way, we are guided by the office of the DPP who evaluates the evidence, how the statements were recorded, the, the, the evidence of the, of the witnesses. But I remember there was a particular is, a witness who was so demanding uh, for money to come and testify and is the one actually who was uh, one of our uh, uh, frontline witnesses. In February 2017, during a two-week homicide investigation course for detectives, Felix Ndiomjenyi, a senior detective, revealed that in 2011, out of 1,011 murder cases reported countrywide, only 17 were investigated conclusively. In 2013, out of 1,034 murder cases reported, only 19 were successfully investigated. In 2014, out of the 943 murder cases reported, only 19 were convicted. While in 2015, out of the 1,060 eight murder cases reported, only 15 were persecuted. This means that in a period of 2011 to 2015, the police had a 2% success rate of investigation of murder cases. Ndiom Jenny said the failure was due to lack of expertise and understaffing of detectives. With no suspects in the murders committed one and a half years ago, the bereaved families have been left with many unanswered questions. Police are very good the Minister of Security. But to be honest, she is a Luachi Mukatabi na Nansana. Yebo chakoma, luachi chakoma. What were the findings? If you looked at these murders, there was a trend. Many of these women were strangled. Many of them were sexually assaulted. So there was already a pattern. So if there had been one successful prosecution, maybe it would now have been easier for the police, you know, to, to do further investigations on those other cases which have not been resolved, and also in the future to prevent similar murders. The murder of the 23 women deprived their families of economic and emotional support. The Ghana Association of Women Lawyers has resolved to sue the state in a strategic interest litigation case. The organization says the state failed to protect the women and bring justice in the wake of their murders. Gillian Nantume, NTV.